If you're looking for an affordable bicycle that's durable and has great shock absorption capabilities, then a bike made of steel is for you. It's a bit heavier than a high-end bicycle made of aluminum or carbon fiber, but this rugged material buys you a smoother ride at a significantly lower price. This three-speed steel bicycle is sturdy and comfortable enough to ride recreationally or daily to school or work. A cargo rack in the rear can hold your purse, backpack, or briefcase. The bike is made of chromoly steel, which is pound for pound stronger than standard steel. To prepare the bike's tubular parts, including the frame, a worker cuts steel tube with a horizontal bandsaw into specific length pieces. He then clamps certain frame pieces into a milling machine, which will cut a curve into one or both ends, depending on the piece's location in the final assembly. This notch, as it's called, will let the tube butt up against the side of an adjacent tube when the bike's frame is assembled. The notched edge is ragged, so the worker smooths it out with a small belt sander. Certain frame parts are straight, others bent. To make the bent ones, another worker places the piece of tube in a tube bender, a press that forces the tube against a curved die. Once all the frame parts are ready, a welder clamps them in a fixture, which correctly positions them for assembly. He works with a welding torch in one hand and a rod of filler metal in the other. The torch melts adjacent tubes at their meeting point so that they fuse together. The welder also melts in some filler metal to strengthen the joint. The bicycle frame is made up of nine major parts and the welder welds them to each other in two sections, forming the rear triangle and the front triangle. This is the rear one, which alone requires nine meticulous welds. Once each triangle is separately assembled, he welds them together. Another worker sprays the frame with powder coat primer, then color. Powder coat is an industrial grade paint-like finish, which he bakes onto the metal at almost 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. When the frame comes out of the oven, another worker presses steel caps into what's called the head tube, that vertical tube at the front of the frame, which holds the handlebars on top and the fork for the front wheel at the bottom. Bearings inside the caps let the handlebars and fork turn left and right with ease. To put the bicycle together, the worker suspends the frame in an assembly stand and then inserts the bottom bracket, which will ultimately support the bike's drivetrain system. The bike's fenders are made of sheet steel that's shaped with pressure applying rollers. The rear fender attaches to the rear dropout and a fender mounts at two other locations on the frame's rear triangle. He screws the cargo rack to middle and rear rack supports. Then he inserts and bolts the rear wheel into the rear dropout. The wheel hub has three built-in gears. The hub and rim are made of aluminum, which is lightweight and doesn't rust. The wheel spokes are stainless steel. Next, the worker installs the drivetrain system inserting the crank arms, already mounted to the chain ring, onto the bottom bracket. He tightens the bolts securely with a torque wrench. Workers then insert the fork into the bottom of the head tube and chrome-plated steel handlebars into the top mount, the front fender, and front wheel. Then install the pedals, vinyl seat, chain, and chain guard. With the gear shifter and front brake lever on the handlebars, this steel bicycle is ready to hit the road.